Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends! So, I've finally managed to collect the one excellent legendary material that I need so that we can finally, finally enchant Andy to enchantment level 3. This has taken far too long by the way, but um... Yep, yeah, enchantment level 4 is going to cost a million and we don't even have the shadow for this actually, so this is going to cost a fortune. And we have like no excellent, so if we change all those up, we've wasted so much enchantment trinkets as well. There we go, 23 out of 32, and absolutely none of the legendary stuff that we need. How many do we have? Three of the average. Fantastic. Well, let's look forward to never ever doing that then. But, you know, Andy is going to be a little beast right now. You are going to destroy everything. So I thought, well, you know... We might as well go ahead and actually take on some more of those fights and see how he does, basically. Well, anyway, since we're here, I believe that we have some clan quests to do. Yeah, that's right, we have some arena battles to do, so we might as well just go ahead and do those right now. But, you know, Andy's stronger than ever. He's just gonna wipe the floor, hopefully, with, like, everything. That should be pretty good. But the only problem with these clan quests recently is the fact that I am not getting any of the, uh, the saffron, like the, the red flower, whatever it is. So I can't actually do any of the epic recipes that it keeps giving me. And I don't think it's actually given me a legendary recipe so far, which is crazy. But, you know, everyone in the clan is actually doing so well like this time around. I don't know what happened, but everyone has like a bajillion points and I've been like at work and very busy over like the last day or so. so I, I feel really bad. It's like I'm the clan leader so surely I should be like at least top five people that are like getting points but I'm like nowhere near. So I, I, I actually feel really bad but thank you everyone in the clan. Not just to me but for like everyone else, just like... I knew that the the main reason that we weren't getting a lot of points was just because we had a bunch of accounts still added that like hadn't even been playing for like months and months, but just like Jesus, some people have like thousands of points. I think we're actually number one in the in the bracket for the moment, but again, I'm always happy to get new clan dragon pieces new, uh, like, dragon powers and whatnot, so I cannot complain. But, you know, just in case I haven't really mentioned it, make sure you, you are, you are taking part in the, the competition at the moment for the 1,800 gems. There's an art competition right now, and then tomorrow there is going to be another gem sweepstakes on for people to win. I'm assuming the same amount again, but there has been so many giveaways and contests and competitions and whatnot from Gameloft recently. It's actually crazy, like, how much is being given away. It's like, look, I know everyone complains about the events and this and that, but, you know, Gameloft are actually giving quite a lot at the moment, so, you know, they're not in it just for the money in in terms of doing these contests because they don't really get anything back. Maybe they get a few more players to start playing, but at the end of the day, they've given out a ton. Like, 1,800 gems split between 20 people already. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money that they could have just gotten those people to purchase. I just think it's really nice. And I wonder if anything's going to happen with the art contest, like, art winner. Because obviously last time we had the Echo Dragon from the art contest, and that got made into a real dragon. Not sure what's going to happen this time, if it's anything like that. Because it just looks like it's going to be, like, draw a DML dragon, or whatever. But, you know, I just think it's cool, in general, that, like, they have art competitions and that. It's just really interesting. And more enchanted arena bells. I am not sure if we are going to be able to take part in that. But let's train up Andy without auto training here. Oh, look at that damage. 68 million and 210 million health. 
that is very delicious. Very delicious indeedy. And if I remember right, I think this was the stage that we ended on because it was a bit too tough for our team to handle. Level 79. Jesus, I don't know how we're going to do that. Level 76 is very high as well. And we have level 70s here. I just want to see how well Andy does on his own. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Just, all that you have to do is click two buttons and I'm incapable. I just want to see, like, how much damage we deal to these, like, other level 70 dragons here. Just out of curiosity, do we actually just one-shot them? Does our infection one-shot them is the question. I'm going to say no. No, it does not, but Jesus, that is a lot of damage. It's like sometimes I just forget how much enchantment actually does for dragons like look at this that's crazy these things do practically get one shot by andy so and they are the same level that's that's just ridiculous like what is the average like level higher that you can take out with like a level 70 is it like three levels higher four levels higher something like that i don't know it's just it's very, very strong at the end of the day. Uh, I think I want to hire this other Autumn Dragon for this fight just to try it out. These all have level 6 abilities, which is a pain. But they're level 76. How much damage does Andy actually deal to these guys is the main question. Not a whole lot. But we can kill this, this werewolf. Wolf, whatever it is. I don't remember the name. We could kill this guy if we infect him. And then we should get two lots of infection on the others. There we go. We should deal a ton of damage now. Look, I don't believe these fights, even with level 76s, are too difficult. Unless I get wiped right now, which may very well happen. Like, that is a lot of damage to take. Uh, we can one-shot this guy, but we can also one-shot this werewolf. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And this guy is not going to one-shot. Does he have any enchantment? He does have enchantment, but what level? I don't know, but we're also trained up as well, so obviously we deal just like too much damage all up. But this is very good. Level 3 enchanted guys are very, very good indeed, I have to say. I'm a big fan of enchantment. The only problem is the fact that everything costs like a million, a million pounds worth of enchantment materials. Like, to get Andy to enchantment level 4 now, I have three legendary materials and it's for like good or average or something so that is just not gonna work i don't even know anymore it's just it's gonna take a long time is what i'm trying to say like way too long like everyone always complains it's like oh make legendary materials guaranteed out of chess blah 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 yeah it's because you barely get any at the end of the day out of the rare chests that you get given you get like nothing pretty much but you know at least it gives you a long-term goal the only problem is that because i keep changing up my uh my what's the mahuha my materials to like get the higher grade materials it means that i keep spending all of my trinkets when really i should just be like saving them up to upgrade my breeding den but you know that's all in hindsight not the smartest of cookies all the time look at this Raya dragon by the way looks sweet wasn't sure whether we should have attacked the mystic or the briar there i should have probably gone for this guy because he's a legendary so he's going to be dealing a ton more damage but if we just kill the other two then this fight should be like done done and dusted 
Like, it doesn't matter if you attack the clay, he's gonna die anyway. I don't care what happens to him. And then the genie should die here. Boop! Cute little blue guy. And then we're just gonna... We're just gonna wreck this guy, so whatever. I should really have used Shadow there. Doesn't really matter what we do, he's dead. But we do get a lot of golden stuff out of these blue map fights. Which I am very, very happy with. There's four fights here. Not bad, not bad. Level 78. Oh, there's Dark Mark guys here. Ah. Uh, is there a level 70 love dragon anywhere? I believe there was. There's level 60. There we go. I think if we use the love dragon just to reduce their damage, that's probably going to work out better than just relying on stone shielding everything. Because I, I was considering using the crystal dragon for this. But again, if these two dark matter dragons have their, uh, their thingy-majig, it's not going to make any difference, because they're just going to burn out all the shields anyway, so whatever. Not that they're using it, they're just, like, using their shadow, but... Oh well. Oh god, you've ruined it! No! Oh whatever. I can't use anything on myself, so there we go. Put all that damage! See, that is still pretty annoying, because we can't use any any abilities or anything on ourselves. Stupid things. Stupid little snakes. Stop hissing at me. Well, he's going to infect him. He should die, I'm assuming. And then we can go down here. Oh, didn't even get a perfect hit. Good job, Quackalax. You failure as a human being. Oh, whatever. We got this. He's missed. All good in the hood in Dragolandia. Sweet! But yeah, I can't wait for the day that we get enchantment level 4 on this guy. It's just gonna be, like, crazy. You know? And, uh... You know, we got our Lantern Dragon at level 30. We need to keep upgrading all of our temples. And where is our legendary? Here it is. We need another two legendaries, level 45 plus. So I think I'm going to upgrade this guy. And really I need a legendary with the earth element. Not really sure which one I'm going to go with to be honest. Because obviously there's the crystal which is a good contender. But the only problem is I don't particularly want to duplicate the light element or use it twice. I just prefer something else. There's the pixel, which is a good, really high damage guy. But then it would have been pointless for me to upgrade the lantern. But the lantern's just so good. And there's the pixie that I do kind of want to upgrade. There's just a lot of things to choose between, really. If I really wanted to be defensive, I could level up the reindeer. Don't think I'll be using him. But, yeah, I just don't know. It's going to be a long journey. And... I'll have to decide. If they bring out a new legendary with the earth element, and it's like a earth and... I don't even know. Earth? Wind? I don't know. But if I want that guy, I would be very happy. But I have been trying to breed the luck dragon as well, and so far I got an elixir dragon, which is a pain in the butt, and two of these boiling dragons. You know what? Just because I can, I'm going to speed up one of these eggs. There we go. We'll sell you. Don't want you. Cool boiling dragon, and then let's try this breed again. And that's another three hour timer, so that was absolutely pointless for me to do. Okay, don't do what I do, learn from my mistakes. But I can we do any more enchantment fights yet? We can. Well, let's do this final set, and then I am gonna head off. Because I don't know, I, I kind of want food like really badly. I really badly want to go downstairs, make myself some mac and cheese, wallow in self-pity, and just enjoy the day. Speaking of which, anyone that likes video games or like watches Twitch, in case you didn't know, uh, what is it, AGDQ? SGDQ? Whichever one it is at the moment, but the game's done quick, 
live streamers on at the moment, so they're just like speed running a bajillion games over the course of like a few days. And the stream is 24 hours a day. That is pretty cool as well. But if you've never checked it out, but you've like watched video games being speed run before and you think, hey, I remember watching Worcester play through Pokemon Platinum. One's really fast thing. Go and watch AGDQ. Really, I'm supposed to be like going, hey guys, can you like and subscribe? If, can we hit 5,000 likes on this video? Like below. I should be trying to help myself, but instead I'm just advertising AGDQ. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I'm not a smart person. But, you know, if I managed to get like a few more, like a few hundred thousand more views a month, which in the whole scheme of things actually isn't all that much. But if I managed to do that, I'd actually be able to make YouTube like more of a more of my main career, if that makes any sense. Obviously, while I'm busy working for like a ton of hours and then I come home at 8.30 p.m. and then I have to do videos, I don't really have the time to focus on YouTube. But, like, if I just got not even a lot more views each month, I could even consider like dropping down my hours in my other job and like doing more YouTube stuff. I don't know, I could live stream every day. If I didn't have another job, I could do like six videos a day. But that's obviously a different world, a different planet that we live on. It's not really going to happen quite yet. If only, you know. But I'll keep doing content when I can. But working like 9.30 till... 7 p.m. minimum every day. Well, not every day, but like four or five days a week. It really takes the life out of you. But, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens in future. If I decide to move the channel in a different direction just so that I can get a few more views each month, and by a few more, I mean like hundreds of thousands. I always feel horrible when I'm like, oh, yeah, just a few more, and then it's like 600,000. I've gotten to that point where I feel like I'm first world scum. It's like how PewDiePie goes, Oh, I am I lost 20 million subs yesterday. Oh well. Obviously I'm exaggerating there. He'd probably be quite upset, but... You know, it's just when you get used to the bigger numbers, you just need to keep seeing more and more for it to feel like it's substantial. So if you're someone that's got a channel and you get like 20 views a video, don't think I'm being horrible or not intentionally. It's just what I'm used to with, like, my stuff now. So, I'm sorry for being a horribleness. I'll try not to be in future. And, actually, side quest battles. I think we might be able to do this because I think we have our auto tickets. I keep saying I'm going to end it and then there's like, oh, I can do this. Oh, you're giving me the opportunity. Thank you, game. The only thing is with these blue map fights, the enemies are like rounded off at level 60 because the uh, the top three dragons in my team, what is it, level 70, level 50 something and level 54. So it's obviously averaged it at 60, which is way too easy for Andy to be able to do. So the higher that we level up Andy, we can't really level him up anymore because I don't have my temple upgraded. but. The more that we upgrade Andy and leave the other two behind, the easier these fights are going to tend to get. But then again, we're going to screw ourselves over in all of the events, so... You know, it's not completely perfect or anything like that at all. It's actually kind of a problem. But we'll see what happens. Okay, these clan quests need to stop. Um, I know that it's giving me stuff that I need, but... It's too many things! Play Dragon Fury. Okay, I don't want to do that one. That one I will refresh. But like, I want to do this recipe, but I can't find this stupid saffron. I'm going to have to ask for some of it. Let's donate some of our Twizzle Sticks. 
And we've got some chestnuts, but we can't really donate a whole lot more than that. But there we go. Spring truck got the lantern. Good job. But let's hope that in 39 minutes this recipe here is something that we can do. Because the saffron is the only thing we don't have. Ah! Damn it. But yeah, like I said, people are going crazy so far. We've got another four days almost of this event. And like, keep 119 quests already. You're like destroying everyone. It's just crazy. But it seems like most people are at least getting involved with quests and donations and everything. So it's actually a lot better. Look at me with my terrible point score. I'll, I'll get back up here soon. I just need to not be permanently busy or sick or dead. But, anyway guys, I have been going on for quite a while, so we got to test out Andy's new capabilities with his upgrades and that, but it's pretty cool. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.